Welcome back to a brand new review, and today it's the weekend. It's the final 124 of big, whatever you want to call it, big cards, last big card that we have for my Christmas slash Easter slash birthday, whatever haul. Anyways, this is Kevin Harvick's, I think 2005, yep, 2005, Good Wrench number 29 for Richard Childress Racing. Chevrolet, let's open this up. Uh, it's card link. One of these actually is for the um, Clint Boyer car. Uh, here it is, though. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you, look at that. That is. Ooh, that's good looking. That's really good looking. Um, absolutely love this scheme. Um, of course, I, 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 I don't really know. I, I, I think this is one of my favorite ones that he had, though. I hate the ones he had on the like Coda, on the Son of Coda, on the SCOT cards, but um, yeah, I wouldn't say this is my favorite paint scheme now. I would say the uh, shell card is a bit better. This is his, I think, 2007 shell. I believe. Yep. But I like that card a bit better. Um, just you notice this enough. This is, uh, of course, Harvick replaced Dale when he uh, passed away, and um, I'm, I, I wish I don't know if he still did that after um a while back, but. You gotta love it right there. That, that was beautiful. Um, yeah, so I don't exactly. I think this was his primary scheme. Uh, of course, 20 years of Good Ranch anniversary. Um, I always feel like this should be white or something. But I really do actually like the gray. It actually looks a bit better. Um, so, it, it, yeah, actually, I wanna. This is one part actually like, oh god, no, everything's falling out. I actually kinda like this because on the inside of the box. It has all the types of collector editions that you can get. So winter circles are of course all the 164s I think they said. Kind of, yeah. RCCA is usually where I get them for actually I usually get the action racing and then maybe some type of RCCA. Uh, so there we go. Um yeah. This would be a sick card to get autographed though. This I think this would be so it, it is worth a lot. I don't even know what it's actually worth right now. Um I would check the die cast registry, but uh, it costs money and I don't I want to really pay 30 bucks a month, I think it was, or a year, I think, um, for just a little bit of pricing. I can probably just ask someone. Um, I get the details on this car. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, one keynote was that when Action made this, uh, of course, it was a little after, before the mid-2007 was made, but you can see that the um, window neck, compared to the uh, shell, it was later, it was only a bit, but... Um, it's a bit more like a plastic game kind of feel. This one's all um, all window net, basically, material. That one's just a bit of a more plastic kind of look and feel to it. So, um, yeah, we're taking a look at this car. On the front, we got GM, a good wrench, 20 years, GM, RCR. So that's a good wrench there. Uh, Chevrolet, 29, Sunoco, a couple other contingencies, Monte Carlo. Contingency sponsors, Goodyear, a lot of contingency are EA Sports. I love their games, even though I don't have any. NASCAR Next Up Cup Series, Mechanics Square 3, uh, Mobile One, just to name a few. Number 29, Duracell, Snap On, Good Wrench, the number three, Silva, Sylvania? I thought it was just Sylvia. Sylvania. There we go. Um, one of those ones in the back. We got Safe to Clean and Gillette. Oh, the Gillette Young Guns. Yo, is anyone else remembering these commercials? Those are beautiful. I uh, got Realtree, Team Realtree star on the back. Uh, Coca Cola Reese, GM card, I think this is. 20 years of Good Wrench and RCR, American Flake, Kevin Harvick. On the deck lead, we have Good Wrench Engines, and on the back, we have GoodWrench.com and the Chevrolet Low with the 29. So, although you really can't pick this up, if you can, this is a beautiful car. I would recommend getting it because who doesn't love the Kevin Harvick 29 cars before the COT era. They, they look really sick. I mean, it looks a bit better on camera because you can see kind of the glare right here. Um, the red actually has a bit of glare as well on it, which is pretty cool. You can't even, you, like the teal even doesn't look that good on camera. That's the problem. It really like, it like, it, I don't know what, it's more like glowy, I guess you could say, um, on, 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 not, and I, I, uh, I have a naked eye, I guess you could say. I, I don't really know how to describe that. But again, the detail is just so well done here. Like, don't even know what that is. Yeah. Uh, of course, the bottom. Bottoms never really changed much. Um, I don't think this has. No. Okay. So the front wheels uh, don't move. I know some of them did. 
Uh, but like, look, you can see the engine, you can see all the detail, and like, line-out doesn't do half of this now. And then, before we even get to the engine, gotta look at that back end. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know why these things open up, because I don't even think these actually do open up in real life, right? I, I don't think they do. But like, the tubes, everything, it all, it all feels very realistic, and that, that's what I love about these. Uh, I got a bunch of engine inside, looks sick. Actually, Good Runs GM has sponsorship under there as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna compare this to the 2007 car because that's like the only other car compared to. And uh, yeah, first I, I think I just like the colors of the Penzoil car better. Um, overall, there's always a bunch of differences, but um, oh, it sounds so bad when I do that. <laughs> There we go. Take a bit of a better look. Uh, the molds are basically, actually, no, they're actually similar. Actually, they've got a change of molds between the years. Uh, I think they actually did in 2007, so. Yeah, there's that. Um, so, I'm gonna sideways a bit here. Um, I do actually think I like the, uh, kind of like stripes, whatever, like the, I don't know what you would call this, the flames, maybe? I like the, I think I like that design maybe a bit more, but I don't think I'd like it to see that on the shell car. That three also should, does not stand out much, so I feel like they should have maybe moved that somewhere. But I, I'd like to collect like a 2012 and see if they have it still on the number on the uh, 29 cars. Reams on the car, uh, Silviana Silviana isn't. So there's just some of the uh, differences, but um, I, I want to get the 164 of this car for sure. Uh, that's my goal. My end goal is to get a 164 of all the 124s I have. I don't think I have any actually. Yeah, no, I don't like. Well, I got the Logano. I don't have his 164. I don't know how I haven't gone that one. Don't have it for the 200. Uh, I don't even think they ever made a 164 that uh, are of the um, but the Orlio SUV thing. Uh, come on, I don't think they made either. But the Junior, I think I could easily get the uh, Dale Junior last ride. It's still available at the one store I buy from. So I want to maybe pick that up here. So yeah, and the Jeff Gordon actually. I don't know if I ever showed that. I had an RC car of Jeff Gordon. Pretty sick. I gotta get his uh, 187. I, I I think they made a 187 of that car because the 187s actually looked good back then. And I also want to get a 164 that have that. So, uh, yeah, but uh, a great car nonetheless. Um, I don't know where it's gonna go because my shelf it's, isn't available. So just, I guess, go to my bench for now because, yeah, that that's where it's gonna go. Um, I don't really think there's much else. I gotta pull this stuff back though. Weird thing is, I wish it would have came with the, um, the packaging you usually get on them, like, with the border, you know, the, uh, like, kind of, like, collectors. Um, what are they called? They're called the, uh, like, the blankets you put over the cars, whatever it's called. But, yeah, I, I wish it would have came with that, because, um, yeah, I would have liked that a lot, because this car is one I'd like to keep nice and tidy and clean and not dusty, so, uh. Yeah, without further ado, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to never miss another video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.